Today we're going to look at function compositions. That is taking one function and composing it with another. We're given the functions today f of x equals 3x squared minus 7x plus 4 and g of x equals x minus 5. So what we want to find is first f of g of x and then g of f of x. We're going to start with f of g of x and we're going to rewrite this expression as f parentheses g of x and we now want to plug in what we know. So we know that g of x is x minus 5, so let's substitute that into this expression. And now we have f of x minus 4. If we think about what would we, we would do if that was just a number, so if we had f of 4, that would tell me to take that 4 and plug it into everywhere there's an x in the function f. So I would plug that number here and here. It's going to be a similar process for this one, it's just we have an expression now and not just a, a number. So let's take f of x and I'm going to write it so that everywhere there's an x I'm going to put parentheses because we're going to be substituting something in there. So we're going to have 3 parentheses squared, so 3x squared, minus 7 parentheses plus 4. Now, what goes in that parentheses? Well, right here it says x minus 5. So let's put that here and here. So now I've got to rewrite this, and obviously I don't want to leave it in this form. We need to simplify this. So 3 times x minus 5 all squared needs to be written twice. We're going to rewrite this as 3 times x minus 5 times x minus 5. And then we're going to go ahead and distribute the negative 7. That's going to be negative 7x plus 35, uh, and then plus 4. Sorry about that, plus 4. We want to take another step and do the FOIL here, FOIL method. So 3 times x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 25 and then bring down the rest of this, minus 7x plus 35 plus 4. Add like terms within that parentheses before we distribute. So this is going to be 3 times x squared minus 10x plus 25. Bring down minus 7x plus 35 plus 4. Let's distribute the 3. This is going to be 3x squared minus 30x plus 75 minus 7x plus 35 plus 4. And you could have definitely added these two along the way if you wanted to. I saved it for last, no big deal either way. So this is going to be 3x squared minus 30x minus 7x is minus 37x. And then we have 75 plus 35 plus 4. And that's going to give us 114. So that was 75 plus 35 plus 4. 114. Okay, that is our f of g of x. Okay, now let's do the opposite. So we're going to do the reverse of that and get g of f of x. So let's go back up here. Our functions are going to stay the same. We just want to see what happens when we do the reverse composition. We're going to compose g with f. All right, again, I'm going to rewrite this as g of f of x. And then what do we have for f of x in this case? Well, f of x is this long 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. And I'm taking all of that and putting it right here where x is in g. So x is parentheses, or g is parentheses minus 5. So x minus 5, parentheses minus 5. What goes in the parentheses? This 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. So we really don't need the parentheses. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. But in this case, we don't. So we have 3x squared minus 7x plus 4 minus 5. And we're going to add these two. So we have 3x squared minus 7x minus 1. So that would be our answer for f of g of x and g of f of x. 
I do want to show you real quick that you can do after you've gotten both of these you could find a function value so let's say we wanted I'm going to do a C part here f of g of let's do that 4 again f of g of 4 then this was f of g of x all I have to do is take the 4 and plug it into the x values here so this would be 3 times 4 squared minus 37 times 4 plus 114 and then we can figure that out real quick so 3 times 4 squared minus 37 times 4 plus 114 gives me 14. okay the other option would be you could do f of 4 and g of 4 so you would find g of 4 take that number and plug it in for f okay um, I'll show that in another video, so check that one out, but that is how you do function compositions.